This mysterious island will look windy and beautiful when viewed from the air, but once humans enter the sea will be lost in the fog. So far, no one has been able to set foot on this island. The entire island is made up of the remains of dead dragons. Those who live on the island are also the descendants of dragons, but these dragons are only males not females, so their way of reproduction is to capture human girls, and then the dragons burn them until they are turned into ashes. From the ashes, new life is born. Many years ago, a warrior had to fight to defend his beloved to find the island and kill the dragon. Since then, dragons have become the legend of this continent. Today, the princess Miroslava is about to marry Igor, the descendant of the warrior. She changes into a white wedding dress and gets into a boat. Igor is pulling her across the frowning lake to show the glory of his family. He had an old song called the Dragon Song. Suddenly, snowflakes were falling from the sky. A cool wind blew and the candles on the side of the boat went out. Then the wind became stronger. A dragon came whistling through the air. It grabbed the boat and tried to leave. Igor reacted by pulling the rope, but Miroslava fell out of the sky with the boat. Fortunately, the dragon caught Miroslava before she hit the ground and roared away. Miroslava woke up in a cave. The cave was very high, and she couldn't climb up it with all her efforts. As she fell, she saw a beast. Miroslava subconsciously grabbed a stone to chase it away. But then a male voice came from next to her. <laughs> Miroslava hesitated for a moment. Then she listened to him, put down the stone and lay down on the ground. The beast came and sniffed her neck and then left. In a flash, Miroslava collapsed to the ground. A fish is thrown by the man. Miroslava asked the man to save her as if she saw a savior. But the man said he couldn't do anything about the dragon. So Miroslava guessed that he was also a prisoner of the dragon. She asked the man what his name is. But the man says he forgets. He hands Miroslava some medicine and tells Miroslava to put it on the wound. As Miroslava tended to the wound, he looked at her without blinking and made complimentary noises. Miroslava was so shocked that she ordered him not to look. But he was so confused. Нет, я же смотрю на птиц, на рыб. Почему на тебя нельзя? Miroslava gave him the name Armin. The man liked the name and smiled. Miroslava tried to shake his hand again, but the moment their hands touched, Armin pulled her back violently. He warned Miroslava that the dragon was coming and that you should not go out of the cave. As soon as he said that, a dragon appeared at the entrance of the cave, and the man on the other side of the wall was silent. In her desperation, Miroslava smashed through the stone wall that prevented her from meeting Armin. But she was about to leave the cave when she met the dragon. The woman was pushed to the edge of a cliff by a dragon. But when she turned her head again, the dragon was gone and out of the cave was a handsome man. And at his feet was a beast that listened to him. Miroslava saw this scene and quickly realized that this man was the dragon. She was so scared that she had to take one step backwards. But she lost her footing and fell off the cliff. Without hesitation, Armin jumped down to hold her and let out a deafening roar. Armin transformed into a dragon in midair and shields Miroslava as she falls straight down from the sky. Miroslava woke up and followed the fluorescent light to Armin. At that moment, Armin was lying naked on the beach. Unconscious, Miroslava raised a stone to kill Armin but she couldn't bear to hit him. In the end, she was not able to escape her conscience. Miroslava dresses Armin and drags him back to the cave. It rained heavily at night. Miroslava pulled out some canvas and made a simple hut. She heard Armin chanting that he had a name. She couldn't bear to abandon him so she got herbs to treat his wounds. As Armin panicked, Miroslava gently soothed him and sang him lullabies. When she sleeps, she leans against him because of the cold. She drifted off to sleep after a long day of exhaustion. The next morning Miroslava wakes up and finds a blanket on her. She finds Armin on the beach and asks him to take her home. But Armin said he couldn't do it and told his story. It was his father that the warrior killed back then. He was just a child at the time. Armin saw his father die and jumped off a cliff in a feat of rage. And thus completed the ritual of becoming a dragon. In that moment, all the memories of his ancestors flooded into Armin's mind. The blood-stained rituals, the brides of the dead maidens disgusted him. Since then, Armin has decided to hide his identity and never let the dragon get out of control again. To fight the dragon, he chose a narrow pathway. As soon as his body was about to change into a dragon, he ran into the passage and used the stone wall to restrain himself. Armin spent many years alone on the island hiding his identity until Igor sang the dragon song. By the time he came to his senses again, Miroslava was in the cave. Armin realized that he couldn't touch Miroslava when he shook her hand. Or maybe he couldn't resist the urge to become a dragon. 
If Miroslava wanted to go home, she had to wait for the warrior to come and get her. The only way for the warrior to find the island through the fog is to feel Miroslava's affection. While Miroslava waits for the warrior to repay Armin for saving her life, she decided to teach him to live like a human being. Armin takes Miroslava to the cave where he spent his youth, and Miroslava asked him to pick up something that he could use, and slowly began to decorate the cave. They also found a lot of clothes. Miroslava smiled as bright as the morning sun when she changed into her beautiful clothes, and Armin was stunned to see her beauty. Miroslava learned it from the many days she spent with him. Armin is a dragon, but it doesn't fly much. They washed blankets together. As they washed them, they played together on the beach. The cave became more and more like a person's room as they decorated it. Later on, more often than not, they would spend time together and chat. This man was too good at flirting with girls. He made the petals fly and showed the girl the colorful nature. What girl can resist this visual feast? Then Armin and Miroslava look at each other. Suddenly he looks up with a smile and says it looks like it's about to start. The rain falls on them. They laugh and run back to the cave. At night Armin half covers Miroslava's eyes and then leads her to the edge of the cliff. When Miroslava opens her eyes, she sees the fireworks in all their glory. She gently lifted her hand and grabbed Armin's sleeve. Early the next morning, Miroslava undresses and enters the hot springs, and Armin picked a bouquet of flowers for her. But suddenly, he sends something and his blood spurted. He stumbles out and tries to control himself. Miroslava makes a kite and shows it to Armin with glee, but she is greeted by the man's very mean words. Armin tries to get away from her, but after seeing her lost, he reaches out again. Next he flies a kite with her, but his hand near the girl began to mutate again. Armin knew he could not indulge himself any longer. He took Miroslava to the stone bed in the cave, then he told her the worst secret of the dragons about reproduction. He said something very cruel. Miroslava tried to keep him, but Armin left without a second thought. In the end, Miroslava stepped into the boat Armin had made for her. She left the island following the direction of the wind. At the same time, fireworks suddenly burst out of the fog. That was Armin guiding people. Miroslava successfully finds Igor and the others lost in the fog. To protect Armin, she lied and said that the dragon was dead. The world was happy to hear the news, and they took Miroslava back to prepare for the wedding again. Miroslava is always a bit depressed. Her father saw her frustration and urged her to Miroslava puts on her wedding dress again and lies down in the boat. But just as Igor was pulling the boat, she suddenly climbed up and removed the rope from the boat. She had thought it through. Miroslava was in love with the dragon. Then she stood on the lake in the wind and chanted the dragon's song. At that moment, Armin was completely lost. He had nothing left to lose and jumped off the cliff. But at that moment, the sound of the dragon's song came from a distant place. The sky was filled with snowflakes and a cold wind was blowing. Then a dragon appeared at the end of the river. He whistled, grabbed Miroslava and flew far away. The dragon was angry when he returned to the cave. But suddenly Miroslava kissed the dragon. Three seconds later, the dragon made no sound. Miroslava said that she loved Armin whether he was a dragon or a human. No matter how she would end up, she would do it willingly. The dragon was deeply touched and placed his head in Miroslava's arms. At that moment, he was like a lost child who had found a home, and then Armin found a way to make them happy. He really got together with Miroslava and had a child. This is the end of the story. The film, He's a Dragon, was released in 2016. The whole film is a feast for the eyes, and most importantly, it tells us, when you're confused, it's a good idea to quiet down and listen to your inner voice.